I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I won. I won. I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won. I won. I won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your summer going? How are you doing? Are you ready for whatever you're doing in September? I don't know. Back to school? I'm an empty nester now. I don't have a school to worry about or anything like that. But yeah, it's definitely, the days are getting shorter and it's getting a little bit cooler, which is great. It's not as bad as in other areas. Don't worry about us. So something amazing happened last week. A few weeks ago, I participated in a contest that was set about by Rode. If you don't know Rode, they are an Australian company that manufactures uh, microphones and other audio equipment for YouTubers, content creators, all kinds of different people that have to do with filming and video. And they've been around for a while. And I, I have a microphone of theirs, which is the Rode Wireless Go. They asked, what would your dream studio look like? And they said, it's not going to be a draw by, by luck. We are going to choose the most original answers. So I thought, okay, I know exactly what I want my dream studio to look like. And my answer was really simple. I want it to be invisible. I, uh, let me explain. You know, here, while I'm talking to you, I'm sitting in front of the ring light. I have another light on. I have a light on behind me. I have this little accent light. I have an accent light over there. The camera's sitting right in front of me. I have a monitor that I'm looking at down here. I have to make sure that I'm looking into my lens because I want to talk directly to my audience. So I'm sitting here looking at my lens in this glaring ring of light. Sometimes I feel very awkward. If this could all disappear and I'm sitting in front of a mirror and I'm talking to myself, looking myself in the eye, which if I'm looking myself in the eye in the monitor, you're not going to like that because now suddenly I'm not looking at you anymore. In place of all of you, just being free with what I want to say, no lights glaring in my eye, I don't have to keep monitoring if my camera is actually recording, all this kind of stuff. That would give me the best possible background for the best possible content. For me, that would be ideal. And so that was my answer, an invisible studio. So a few, a few weeks passed and suddenly I got this email from one of the employees from Rode and they said that my answer had been chosen, one of the 10 best answers. And they were sending me a brand new Rode Wireless Go 2, the updated version of the one that I already have. That's why I entered the contest because I, I wanted to win it. I was looking to update my microphone and and I was looking at the DJI offerings. DJI has brought out a new microphone set that comes in a little case. It's smaller than Rhodes. It's easier to use apparently. You can just hook it onto your phone without needing a cable. And I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos about the sound of the microphone. And they did a lot of comparison with the, uh, the Wireless Go 2. And the Wireless Go 2, in my opinion, always won out on sound quality or nothing else. It's bigger, it's more cumbersome, it doesn't have a, uh, a box that recharges them on the go. It's just all around not as refined as the DJI's, but where it really shines is the most important aspect of them all. It's sound quality. So I almost was ready to fork over the $400 or 350 or whatever it is, to get that updated one. And then I ended up winning it, which is, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm really thrilled. So why don't we open this thing together and look what it looks like on the inside. Okay, what do we have here? Let's pull out some stuff. 
first off, a neoprene pouch. That's annoying. Okay. Neoprene pouch. Okay. Better than a kick in the bum. Next up, we have instructions. That's a lot of cables. We have a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cable that I cannot use because my bloody camera doesn't take 3.5 by 2.5. Road to do better. And then um, a charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. And another charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. And another cha cable, USB-C to USB-A. Where's the USB-C to USB-C charging cable, guys? Road, come on, get with the program. And here are the microphones. Oh. Do not eat. Okay, one dead cat, two dead cats. I'm dropping it too. Gosh. Three dead cats. I'm almost dead. I got a heart attack. Almost. Okay, then we have number one the receiver. It looks exactly like the other one, except it says go to on there. And then transmitter here. And transmitter number two. So, what I was reading is that. One of the things that bothered me about the previous version is that the dead cats or the dead kittens were so easy to fall off. So let's see if I'm doing this any better. <gasps> Ooh, that's not going to come off at all. That's perfect. That is excellent, excellent work. Good. That was one of my main concerns. How stupid is that? I hope they have a little bit of juice in them because I want to do some testing. All right, now I have the new microphone in the same exact spot as the old one, and I think I have it set the same way. Um, this is the exact moment when I realized that I had been recording this entire video on my in-camera microphone. Oh, man. I'm making a video about a new microphone and I didn't make sure that the microphone was set up properly. I mean, to my defense, I had plugged it in, it was all plugged in, but in the camera I hadn't switched over from remote to microphone. So there's this internal button, but I can see it now. There's a microphone icon now that's showing, so it must be working. This is now the Rode Wireless Go 2, set to minus 12 dB. Oh my God, seriously? You guys, this is why I don't get nothing done, because I'm messing up as we go left, right, and center. Who cares? All right, let's do this. I'm gonna switch the microphones around. Okay, I think it's about the same now. I have the same setting now. It's been a little bit harder to set this up because it doesn't have the decibels the db's numbers it just has a small medium and range so i'm hoping it's set up the same way i'm going to play these two clips kind of side by side so that you will see more together what are the comparisons and and i will go from there the wireless go to is an ultra compact and extremely versatile wireless microphone system consisting of a dual channel receiver and two transmitters Boasting a range of powerful features including universal compatibility with cameras, mobile devices and computers, extended range of 200 meters line of sight, onboard recording capabilities and much more, it's the perfect microphone for a wide range of content creation applications. I'm going to switch back to the new microphone now, okay? Alright, so that was fun. At least I noticed that before I invested too much time in 
working on this video. <sighs> Good grief, Karen. Seriously. This could all have been avoided if I had been playing with this new microphone a little bit more. In theory, the onboard recorder here can save my butt because I should be able to just grab that recording and overlay it on my video. But to tell you the truth, I'm not really sure how that works. Anyway, what do you think? Which one sounds better? Does it all sound better than my in-camera microphone? I sure hope it does because, excuse me, that's so stupid. Now I have new microphones and I have an old microphone that I don't hear, hear everywhere that I'm not going to use anymore. Oh, how about this? We're going to make a draw. Do you want a used wireless go microphone with not all the parts included in it? Write in the comments why you would like to win it. Don't put your address in the comments. Mm. Make sure you follow me because I'm going to check that. Check that. I don't know how I'm going to check that, but I will. And then I'm going to put all the numbers in a thing and I'm going to draw a name and then I'm going to ship it to you. I really do apologize. Wow, the first half of this video sounds so awful. And so that makes me wonder, my last video, that was also with the... Oh my God. Why do I even have followers? Because I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm going to go and try to see what I can salvage of this wreck of a video. And uh, for now, I want to thank you very much for watching. And I hope it was helpful for some people. I don't know who this could be helpful for, but I really don't know. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!